All right, everybody. So today's going to be pretty heavy on the legs. We're going to do a unilateral workout, which means that we're going to work one side of the body first, and then we're going to work the other side of the body. The reason why we're not going to do um, both legs at the same time is because generally we all have a weaker, a weaker side. Um, my weaker side is my left side. Um, so when we work unilaterally, we catch the weaker side up to the stronger side. So that's what we're going to be working on today. Um, what you're going to need is something elevated. So it can be a bench, it could be the cushion of a couch or a chair. Um, and you're also going to need a weight. So anything that you could use as resistance, that'd be awesome. Um, if you don't have anything, your body weight will be just perfectly fine. Now, this um, workout, we're going to do all the exercises at 10 reps each side. And then you're going to do this three rounds through. Um, everything else will be in the description if you don't want to rewind and hear what I just said. Um, the thing that we want to be careful of when we're doing unilateral leg exercises especially um, is we want to prevent rounding the back. So we want our back to constantly look like this. So super flat, not rounded. And typically why that happens is because you lift too heavy. So you want to pick a weight that's lighter than what you would do both legs with. So for example, if you squat with both legs at like a I don't know, like 15 pounds, then you're gonna basically cut it in half to do a single leg workout, okay? So try to think about decreasing the weight so that we can keep our back perfectly flat because we're gonna be a little bit more stable because we're only gonna be on one leg. Another thing that we wanna concentrate on is not excessively rotation, rotating at the back or the hips. So let's just say, for example, I'm doing a single leg deadlift. What we don't wanna do is we don't wanna rotate the hips or the torso, okay? We wanna keep Everything flat and parallel down to the ground. Weight super heavy in the heel, not the toes, and then coming back up. Okay, the other thing with unilateral um, exercises, so we wanna make sure that we're in control, okay? So you'll see those people pump it out at the gym super fast, do really fast squats. That's not what we wanna do, especially when we're working one side at a time because we're a little bit unstable. We wanna go slow and control, okay? So we're gonna start with our first exercise. It's called a Bulgarian squat. This one gets really deep into your glutes and into your hamstrings and also helps your um, ankle stability. So since my left leg is the weakest one, I'm gonna start every single exercise on just my left side. And then once I finish, I'm gonna go all the way back up to the top, okay? So my left leg is out. Um, I wanna make sure it's pretty far out because I just want my toe to barely touch the um, bench behind me. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna have a flat back by coming up nice and tall out of our crown, and we're gonna keep our weight in the opposite hand, and we're gonna keep our left arm out for balance, and we're gonna drive down to the heel and exhale, press. Tighten up through the glutes at the top, okay? Focusing on something three to four feet in front of us, not directly down, okay? So this is three, exhale, push, inhale, down. Why I like this one too is it really stretches the right hip flexor so it opens up your hips. Six. Inhale down and up. Two more. Inhale down. Exhale, tighten, squeeze. Lift through the crown of your head. Last one here. All right, so you're gonna want some music for this one. Um, something that I do is I have my music on super low in the background, um, so you guys can do that too, because um, it's gonna be a hard one. Okay, so we're still sticking to our left side. Now we're gonna do a front loaded reverse lunge. So some, what a front load means is we're gonna hold the weight right here to our chest. A lot of times we just hang like this. I want you to do this because it puts um, a lot more resistance. So I'm still putting my left foot out because that's where we started. And I'm gonna come back into a reverse lunge, not letting that knee touch the ground and coming back up. Inhale down, pause for a second, exhale, push. Up and tuck that pelvis at the top, shoulders are down, relax. Remember, no excessive grounding of the back. Inhale down, exhale, push. Six. Seven. Heavy in the heels. If you want an extra challenge, don't let that bottom foot touch the ground. Last one. All right, good job. Okay, next up we have a single leg deadlift on the same leg, okay? You should start feeling a little fatigue, especially in the hamstring and the glute. Left leg goes out again, right leg back. Now remember, push those shoulder blades back, 
Then we're gonna extend. Let me move this bench really quick. We're gonna extend that uh, back leg as straight as possible. Okay, so weight in both hands, weight in your heels, come back to mid shin, hand up, don't let that back foot touch. Exhale down, hold that pelvic floor, inhale up, relax. Halfway right here. Should feel it in your calf a little bit because it's a lot of stabilization. Three more. Inhale up. Okay. Now shake it out. You're going to start feeling it. Now we have an elevated single leg glute bridge. Okay. Once you find a wall or you can do it up against your couch, but you want your um, leg to be up above something. Okay. So um, I'm going to use this wall right here. You're going to ditch the weight and just use your body weight to so get your um, leg a little bit of a break. So your heel is going to be up on the object, arms out on the T. Knees are aligned. We're gonna exhale, push up and inhale down. Don't let your butt tip to the floor. It should cover one centimeter off and we're up again. That's two. Exhale, push, squeeze your glutes and your core. Inhale down, relax. I want you guys to go up as tall as you can. So push those hips all the way up. Don't, look, don't slack on this. Three more. Last one. And we're gonna roll over to our side. Okay, so next one we're gonna work um, our posterior chains. So um, we're gonna, that means your back too, not just your hamstring and your glute. We're gonna get up on all fours. We're gonna draw the belly button up to activate our TDA or our transverse abdominis. Since we're still working on that left foot, um, if, you, if you show to the right, you stick to the right. We're going to tuck that belly button up and we're going to um, do pulses here. So if you one inch down, one inch up. So not going way up here. Okay? Then here we go. One. Inhale down. Exhale two. Long through the neck. Chin off your chest. Keep that belly button drawn in. Gotta keep that core engaged. One more. Keep that foot flex. From here, I want you to bend your leg to 90 degrees, and we're just going to do tiny pulses here. So here we go. One. Keep that foot flex. Turn above your chest. And relax. Okay, so now, what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to do um, a reverse lunge to front press. I, I personally need a lighter weight to do this. Um, because my arms are weaker than my leg. So what this is going to look like is because I'm still working my left leg, it has to act as a stabilizer, which means it's going to be on the front. I'm going to reverse lunge and I'm going to press out in front of me and then come back up to the top. Okay? You want to make it a little bit harder, you can drive that knee up, but you've got to keep your balance. Okay? So here we go. Exhale, inhale. Squeeze that tailbone underneath you, engage your core. Exhale, push. Inhale up. Three more. Last one. And we're finished. Okay, so we did it. So now we're gonna take a little bit of water break. Let your leg shake it out. Now we're gonna do our right side. So grab that same weight, get back to your elevation. Now, left foot goes on top and left foot, left hand has the weight, okay? We want our hips to be aligned with our knees, pinch those shoulder blades back, coming down into your heel, and exhale, push. 
Now, if your knee is super wobbly, you guys, and you're having trouble balancing, please bring this back foot down to the ground. We don't want anyone hurting themselves. Take the option if you need it. Other option is just use your body weight. Back tail push. Three more. Go at my tempo, nice, slow, and controlled. Remember, not speed here. Last one. Exhale, push. Up and up. Okay? Front loaded. Reverse lunge. So the right foot is going to be on the front. Weight is going to be right at your chest. Squeeze those shoulder blades back. Weight heavy in your front heel. Here we go. One. Don't let that back foot touch if you can. Remember, option, ditch the weight. Halfway. See how I drop my knee back to the ground? Don't do that. If you lose your balance, slow it down. Two more. Exhale through. And last one. Okay. Now we have a single leg deadlift. So right leg out in front, shoulders are down the back. Weight heavy in your heel. Remember, the flattest back you've got. Okay, so keeping your hips and your torso level towards the ground. Exhale, push. Okay, protect your spine as you come down by keeping a flat back and squeeze your glutes on the way up. Nice and slow. So if you're unsure if you're torso is wobbling or not, put your hands on your um, hip bones and you should feel them both point towards the ground. If you start feeling it, if you're twisting, that means that you should ditch the weight. Got three more. All right, and back up to the top. Now, we're ditching the weight for this one. And we're going to put our foot up on the wall again, so we're going to do an elevated single leg glute bridge. So keeping with the same leg that we've been working. So now to the right side, heels on the ground, arms out like a T, chin off your chest, drive that heel into the object, and the leg is at 90 degrees, exhale, push, inhale down. That's one. Squeeze your butt and your core at the top, slowly lower it back down. Don't let your glutes touch the floor. Last one right here. Good, and slowly bring it back down. Roll over to your side. Just like yanking back up, we're going to protect our spine um, and getting up and rolling off to the side. Okay, then we're going to go back into that single leg extension into kick back. So draw up your belly button and keep your back flat. Your right foot is going to kick back and we're going to pulse here and down. Exhale here, inhale down. Two more. Last one. And bend this leg. We got uh, 90 degrees here. Exhale, push, inhale down. Keep that belly button tucked. Don't let that back hyperextend. Exhale here, inhale down. Two more. Okay, now we're going to go into that reverse lunge to front press. So um, if you want to use your body weight for this one, or lighter weight, or if you can handle the weight that you're just doing, that's fine. Um, just make sure that if, when you're pushing out your arms, you need to be perfectly straight. If you're pushing out your arms or bent, that means the weight's too heavy. Or if you're leaning into it, too heavy, okay? So remember, no pride in the weight room, okay? So we're going to keep that right foot out. We're going to extend, full arm, shoulders are down, and we're going to bring it up to the top. Exhale, push, inhale up. Halfway. Two 
Two more. Last one. And that's round number two. Okay, so we're gonna go back to our left side and do it all again. Favorite song in them. Okay, so now the challenge for you guys is if you have the time to slow it down, please slow it down. So when we're doing the Bulgarian squat, which is coming up next, I want you to think about pausing for one 1,000 at the bottom and pausing for one 1,000 at the top, okay? Even though it's a subtle movement, it's gonna make a lot of a difference within your muscle fiber, okay? Looking for that strength and that tone, okay? Left foot out, right hand has the weight, shoulders are down and back, this right foot goes up on the bench, and we go down. Keep your eyes three feet in front of you, not straight down. Squeeze your glutes at the top. Five, halfway. One, one thousand, pause. One, one thousand, pause. Three more. All right, now we're gonna keep that same leg out in front. We're gonna go right to that first front loaded reverse lunge, so left foot out in front. Squeeze your shoulders back, and we go down. Exhale through, inhale down. Halfway, right here. Squeeze your core and your glutes. One more. Oops, my legs are getting tired. All right, hopefully you guys is too. Now, single leg deadlift, still left foot that we're working here. Shoulders are down and back. We heavy in the heels, exhale down, halfway, inhale up, squeeze those glutes. Keeping your hips and your shoulders level towards the ground. Keep with my pace, halfway. Two more. Last one. Woo. All right, stay with me. Okay, now dropping the weight, elevated single leg glute bridge. Okay, so if you wanna make this more challenging, if you have a band at home, you can place the band above your knees and do this workout, okay? Up to you. If you don't wanna do that, you can just keep using your body weight. So. Heel goes on the wall, hands out to a T, head stays on the ground. Exhale, push, hold. Inhale down, hold. That does not touch the ground. The exhale on the way up helps tuck your abs, getting an isometric hold, so it'll really help get that TBA going. Last one, guys. Hold. And slowly lower back down. Rolling over onto our side on all fours. Shoulders are down and back. Heels are, heels of your palms are pressing in to the ground. Belly button up. Left foot back. Pulse up. Down. Feet are flexed. Two more. All right, so now we're gonna go back into that 90 degree kick. Here we go, pulse. Slow it down, not fast, pull that belly button up. 
shoulders are down. Last one. All right, good job. Now reverse lunge to front press. Grab your weight, left it out in front. Weight's in front of your chest, heavy in your heel. You go back, exhale, press, inhale up. Making it harder by driving the knee up. Option, ditch the weight. Halfway. Two more. Last one. And coming back up to the top. Okay, take a drink of water. We have one more round of this and it's gonna be on our other leg. Okay, right leg on front. Left leg goes on the elevated bench. Left hand has the weight. Heavy in the heel, drive back. Remember option is to ditch the weight or take your heel off the elevation. Here we go, we go down. Exhale, push, squeeze that core. Halfway. Exhale, push. Last one. All right, good job. Okay, now we're gonna go into that front loaded reverse lunge. Right foot out in front. Weight right on your chest. Remember, never out in front. Glued onto the um, chest. Reverse. And up. Inhale down. Exhale, push, squeeze that glute. Try not to let that bottom foot touch the ground when you come up. Halfway. Okay, I never want to do. <laughs> Seven. Two more. And up, nicely done. Now with single leg uh, deadlift. Heavy in your heel, shoulders are down and back. Exhale down, inhale up. Squeeze those glutes, don't let that foot touch the ground. If you get tired, ditch the weight. It should burn, that's correct. Halfway. Just two more, stay with it. Exhale down, flat back, inhale up, don't round those shoulders. Last one. And good job. Okay, single leg glute bridge. You want to add band, do it. If not, right heel goes right on the elevated item. Arms up to a T, head stays on the ground. Heel here, big toes flex up. We hold one 1,000, drop one 1,000. Exhale, push, inhale down. Three more. Squeeze that core in, last one. Slowly bring it down, roll over to your side. On all fours, tuck that tummy under, fingers are nice and spread wide. Drive that right foot back, and we're gonna kick up and down. Slow pulses, keeping your chin off your chest, look one inch ahead of you.
Okay, bend that knee, 90 degrees. Baby pulses. Nine and 10. Okay, last one. Reverse lunge to front press. Grab your weight, right leg out in front. Reverse, press, bring it back up. You can ditch the weight if you want to, and you also don't have to bring your knee up, so it's an extra challenge. Exhale here, inhale up. Halfway. Three more. Last one. And we're finished. Okay, with just the weights. Now, you guys, after you recover by taking a drink of water, I'd like you to do 20 to 25 um, minutes of steady cardio. If you wanna go out for a 20, 25 minute walk, do that, you can get on your bike, you can go for a light jog. I don't want you to go as fast as possible though, that's not what I'm asking, I'm asking for a steady state, which means same pace, okay? We just worked our legs a lot, and most of our bodies are not used to doing a lot of work. Why I want you to go utilize them now is because it'll help your brain connect to those muscles that we just woke up, and help your brain realize that these are the muscles that we're supposed to be using when we're doing anything athletic. So again, just a steady walk, run, or bike, all right? Have fun.